Hello, so we are going to speak here in this video about uh, artificial neural networks and uh, this is the first video for feedforward neural networks. So uh, the question here is how can we classify uh, the two input short or ex exclusive or function with a single unit? So we got here the, the table for the short function. We are going to consider that the, the bias input is equal to plus one. And uh, this is the type of neuron that we are going to use. And we are going to try to use here a, a sigmoidal function. So if you use this um, neuron and we, we run a program with a, with a delta function, a delta rule using the learning rate of 0.9 and 10,000 epochs, using the sigmoidal function, we are going to obtain, this is one of the tries, so what this, this means is that, okay, we, we cannot uh, obtain a, a line that uh, can classify these two uh, classes. So these are called uh, non-separable functions. And uh, so uh, the conclusion is that we need more than one unit to classify these type of functions. Uh, so this is a nice representation with a single neuron can have, uh, we defi it defines a line here, and uh, this can classify two uh, classes. And uh, of course, with a neural network, we can have more than, uh, in this case, three lines. So it is possible to have more complex uh, patterns and classifications with more with a neural network and that's the uh, the objective of this video so we are going to introduce this uh, configuration of a fit forward neural network where we got uh, the first la layer is called the input layer which is this one uh, in this case we got n neurons for the input layer then we got the hidden layer which is this one which has R uh, uh, neurons, and then we got the output layer, uh, which is in this case just as a single uh, output. So we are going to submit the, the network with the, the patterns here, and we have the target. Uh, okay. Of course, also we are going to introduce that the, the weights can be represented. In this case, the weights connecting the the input layer to the hidden layer are represented with them using a matrix, this, this uh, W1, and uh, the hidden layer to the output layer, another matrix W2. Okay, we are going to introduce using this terminology that uh, I use, it is uh, the same used in this uh, book here. So in this case, we got a 3, 2, 1 configuration. N equals to 3, R equals to 2, and M equals to 1. So the, uh, the first matrix, W1, is, uh, it, has a, uh, is, it is a 2 by 3 matrix. And the second one, 1 by 3. So the way that the matrices are defined in this case is this one. So the first row represents the, the connections to the first hidden uh, neuron. So this, in this case, we got uh, this weight omega one one. Then we got in this this position. Then we got the omega one two is this one, and then one three and so on. Then we got the same for the second uh, well, uh, neuron, and we got these three connections. Okay. Uh, this is the input the bias input to the to the output layer and this is the input the bias input to the to the hidden layer uh, of course the same applies to the second one to this for this matrix here which is in this case we got these three weights here connecting to the output layer uh, okay the the difference here is this this uh, number here one and two the one Above is for the hidden layer, for the input to the hidden layer, and this one is from the hidden layer to the output layer. Okay, so uh, if you, we can, uh, 
in this case, to represent, we got this example. This example, we got here the weights, and uh, it's supposed to classify, to be able to classify the short function. We are going to see that in a moment. So we can uh, represent uh, this output of the, the, the hidden uh, neuron 1 as y1, this as y2, and this is the same as y3. So the first equation for the output, in this case, output of, uh, of the hidden uh, neuron 1, <coughs> is equal to the function of, of course, we are going to multiply this, um, this input for uh, the first one, this h11, and then the second input for the second one, this w12, and so on. And the, the, the third input uh, times the, the third weight, it is w13. So these are the equations for to, to evaluate the output of the neuron 1, neuron 2, and neuron 3, okay? So the question is, can this, um, can this network classify the short function? Um, you are going to see that, and we are going to use, in this case, the activation function is, is the steps function or the heavy side function. So, so in this point, I'm going to change for, for this notebook. So we are going to, okay, so if I put here, uh, okay, in this case, the, the the combinations are 0, 0, and this is 1 for all the inputs. Okay, I'm going to put the bias 1. So this is 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Okay, these are the four combinations. So uh, remember that this is y1, this is y2, and this is, okay, y3, or y. Okay, this is y3 equals to y. So um, we um, this this is the the combination. So okay, let's evaluate y one y one. So y one is uh, equals to to let's see. So okay, plug it here to the left. So we are going to consider here. Um, in this case, the first one is zero zero one. With zero zero one, so we got here zero. So we've got the first one is zero, uh, is the first input uh, times one, plus uh, the second input is zero times uh, minus one, and the, the third one is uh, one times uh, minus 0.5. So it's one minus 0.5. So, uh, so this is uh, zero plus zero. And this, this, this third part is uh, minus 5, minus 0.5. So this means that, uh, okay, we are going to use the activation function. So the activation function is this one. Uh, sorry for that, but this is uh, just to see that, uh, uh, okay, this is 0. So because it is in this uh, region here, the step function, so we are going to have uh, here a 0, okay? So if you do that for the second one, is uh, okay. You're going to do the second one is now is uh, second input. Okay. Um, you can also do the for the second one for the second one to be okay zero uh, minus one. Then we got um, plus because it is this one times this, and then we got one, this one, sorry, times this one here, so it is plus zero times one, plus the last one, which is one uh, times uh, minus, minus 0.5, so it is one minus 0.5. So this is, is, is the output, so the sum here, uh, is equal to minus 0.5, so this is, is equal also to zero, okay? And um, so we got y1 zero, y2 zero, 
So the, the only one remaining is y3. y3, so this is 0. In this case, this is 0. And this is 0. And uh, so y3 um, is just... Uh, okay, if you look to the... To the Sorry about that. I missed the... So we got, we got 0, 0. You can see here it's 1. Sorry. So this is 1. And this is 1. So it's OK. It's 0. So what happens is that we are going to have uh, uh, two zeros for the, the first one. But then we got here uh, the last, the, the bias one. Uh, the bias one is, uh, sorry, very nervous here, is uh, minus, minus 0.5. So this is going to be also minus 0.5. So the activation is going to be also uh, zero. Okay. So uh, this is equals to the, to the output. So uh, this is the, the, the target. I did, uh, I don't have the target here, but the target I'm going to put to the, to the left. So zero, zero is zero. Zero, one is one, one and zero. So the first uh, output from the network is the one that it is, is zero. So when the first one is working, I'm going to do just the second one, and the rest is the same. So uh, just uh, pushing this to the right here. So for the second uh, input, so now we got. I'm going to change the, the color here. Uh, let's put. Let's put, use, uh, for instance, this one. So now is this one. We are going to use this uh, sample. Okay. So it is, uh, in this case, it is 0, 1, 1. So here we got, uh, okay, 0 for the first neuron, y1, 0 times 1, it is 0. Then we got uh, 1 times uh, minus 1 is minus 1. And then we got the, the third one, 1 times minus 0.5 is minus 0.5. So definitely this is minus 1.5, so the output is negative, and so the output of the neuron is zero in this case. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we are going to use now uh, the, the second uh, output, the second neuron. The second neuron is going to be zero times minus 1, which is 0. And then we get, uh, uh, again, 1 times 1, which is 1. Oh, sorry, I, I've done the, let, let repeat again. The, the, the last one is 0 times, times 1, which is zero, which is okay. One times minus one, it is minus one. This is okay, okay. So the second one, it is zero plus one uh, times one is one. And then we got the bias, which is uh, minus uh, 0.5, okay? Minus 0.5. So in this case, we got, uh, in this case, we got one. It is positive, so the output of the, the neuron two is going to be one, okay? So we are going to we are going to try to see uh, just the final one, the final one. So we got now zero one. So in this case now we got zero and one. So we got in the first one it is zero, zero times one. The second one is uh, one times one, so it is one. And we got minus 0.5 uh, from the last one. So we got we are going to have in this case, is 0.5. So we are in this part of the, the of the axis. So the output is one, and okay. So the second one is also the same as it should be. We got a zero and one. So we can repeat the the, the for the third sample. 
and the fourth sample, and we are going to 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 we are going to to see that the output of the network is going to be also one and zero. And uh, okay, so this uh, the conclusion is this okay with these weights here, and uh, with the step start uh, activation sign uh, function, actually this network uh, can classify the short function for two inputs. Okay, and uh, okay, it will be interesting for you to to evaluate the the the, the equation for each one of the three lines using these um, these weights. Okay, and with this the this example, I conclude this video, and hopefully, I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you very much for your attention.